my name is Eric and because I love Blender you can call me Blenderic and this is the part 5 of my Blender tutorial making a house uh, in the previous parts I showed you how to create basic uh, walls uh, doors and external door frames and the small windows uh, as I said before, I'll be back as soon as I'm done with all windows and all the doors. So yeah, I'm back. I just want to make sure that you know how to do it. Uh, I showed you how to create the small windows, but here is another thing we need to make for our house. So it's a bit different, but. I'm pretty sure that uh, if you if you go so far in this tutorial you will be able to do it yourself I just want to show it anyways because this is a little bit different type of a door frame so we can simply start by uh, pressing shift a and adding plane and rotating along the X axis 90 degrees sorry rotate x 90 enter and scale it down a little bit now go to edit mode by pressing tab go to face selection select the face and press x to delete only faces tap back to edit mode and select vertex selection a to select all, E to extrude, escape, scale, and scale it up just a little bit. A to deselect, A to select all. Uh, okay, I've got the transform orientation set to normal, so set it back to global. And E to extrude along the Y axis just a bit. Now we need to add a loop cut, Control R right here in the middle right click and go to face selection mode alt and right click e to extrude escape scale shift y scale it like this so we have a uh, basic frame like one two three four done we need to add this part here there are lots of other options but I like to keep it this way so I'm just going to wireframe A to deselect Control R adding two loop cuts here Control R adding two loop cuts here go to the front view by pressing 1 vertex selection A to D select B for box selection select those two scale S X 0 enter A to D select B for box selection S X 0 enter and now A to D select and B select all of them S X and scale it down to whatever size you are happy with Z to go to solid view face selection select this one and hold down the shift this one X delete faces now I'm going to edge selection mode and just selecting this one and this one F A creating the face select this one and this one F A one and two F A one and two F A tap out of edit mode and that's what we have. Okay, how to create a window? Tap the edit mode, face selection one, hold down the shift two, three 
Shift D, put it back. P, separate selection. Tap out of edit mode. Select this one, back to edit mode. Add selection. Select this one. Hold on, shift this one, press F, A. So A to select all. E to extrude, escape, scale, shift, Y. Scale it down. Go to the front view. Scale along the X axis. And uh, maybe select the face selection. Select this one. And hold on the shift, this one, and just move it slightly this way. You will see from a front view if it's okay or not. It looks alright to me. Back to edit mode. Control R. Add loop cut here. Like this. Face selection. Hold down the old. And bring it back. Let me go to add selection. And hold down the old. Select this one and bring it back as well. We just need to play with it. And okay, good. So yeah, and then just making a copy, shift DX and just bring it here, you know. Let's delete extra copies. That's how you do it. So we don't need this anymore. This one X to delete. X to delete. And uh, another thing is here those sliding doors. You know how to create that external wall frame already. But here with the sliding doors as you wanna show you the mesh. So I'm pressing slash to show just that bit the same way as we have created our window yeah we just need to delete some parts here and then fill up the openings with uh, creating extra faces and now when I'm selecting that frame and the sliding door part and this thing here is a sort of rail you know because this is the whole thing is a solid part but this this part is gonna be the sliding and uh, if you want to get a good render result you need to get uh, to your sliding doors some base to slide in so just create this going to side view and set you see it's just a simple cube with some extrusions I'm, I'm pretty confident to say that you will manage if not just send me a message Draws that, and uh, as you can see, I've got my exterior wall here on a layer number one. Layer number two is the doors, windows, and exterior window frames. On a layer number three, I've got my glass panels. Layer number four, I have my interior door frames and doors which I've added recently each of them if you want to uh, create an animation later on so the pivot point is set to vertex as we as I showed you before I've added some hinges which is basically simple cube scaled 
and with some subdivision surface modifier applied it looks better in a render so go for it on this layer I have created some ground this is the it's gonna be grass this is the patio with some door steps you see really easy to do it I have no doubts you will do it you will manage to do it yourself another part of this tutorial is gonna be creating the those drains yeah, and the roof some lighting and camera so again layer number one two three oh sorry two three four and uh, 17 18 19 20. I'm saving those layers for creating a furniture uh, for interior. All right. So on layer number 18 we have the drains. So here is a really simple way how to how to create them. Seven go to top view click somewhere here and press shift a add mesh cylinder change the number of vertices to let's say uh, 12 will be efficient for that 7 scale it down rotate along the y-axis 90 enter sx just grab it here s and sx again go to side view number three edit mode tap z a b so the top portion X to delete faces and this is what we have okay but we need to give the walls of this train some thickness so go to modifiers add modifier solidify tick even thickness and tick it up until you're happy with the thickness of this side walls this part we will fix later on yeah so press apply seven we'll tap to edit mode vertex selection z and uh, b for box selection select this one this part press s x zero enter and just bring it back until it fits the thickness on the side walls and this exactly the same thing on the opposite side A to deselect B for box selection S X 0 enter and just bring it back tap out of edit mode set for solid view okay but it's still a bit uh, you know angular so if you want to have it smooth you need to add a modifier subdivision surface change the view values so I, I'm using two and three for render but anyways you need to fix it by adding a loop cut so tap to edit mode control R add a loop cut and just drag it here Control R, add another one, and drag it here, and make it smooth. All right, this is what we have. Seven. See, I have all that, all those things done already. S X. showing you how to do it again so I'm 
deleting this part but you will have to do it again and how to create those pipes it's quite simple as well uh, shift a add mesh cylinder hold down the control and left click 12 enter scale it down three see I'm not using the reference pictures anymore but uh, you will have your reference here so just use it tap the edit mode a Z B for box selection bring it down and now Z E to extrude okay here E to extrude escape scale E to extrude Z like this and Z A B Z you can just bring it down E to extrude escape scale E to extrude root Z Z and you can press R to rotate G to grab and bring it here and now you can keep on doing extrusions the way you, you did till now or you can just hold down hold down the control and left click here and now hold down the control and left click here Hold on, control left click here and now E to extrude scale E to extrude Z E to extrude escape scale and E to extrude and bring it in that that's what you have um, but again the same thing if you'll just press the smooth it doesn't look very good so make it flat add a modifier subdivision surface tap to edit mode and you will need to add some extra loop cuts to fix it to make it look good control R Again. Oh, well, if you will press, make it smooth. Now it looks much better than before. Yeah, there are some issues, but you you will fix it. Seven, and now just just G to grab it, put it to the right position, and you know, and just Shift D, X, duplicate. Shift the X and duplicate. Okay. As I said, I'm not doing it. But, and then two more on the opposite side. So I'm deleting the thing. X to delete. So. Yeah. That's it for now, guys. You should done this and this and this and this and this oh, this and this and this and this ah huh. besides that but it's quite easy thing to do <coughs> uh, maybe just one more thing this floor inside of the house as you can see I've assigned different materials to distinguish between you know, different areas in a house 
because if you go to just for for top view I still have a reference picture let me let me select just that floor plane press slash so that only selected mesh is visible seven five orthographic view and Z you know we've got different areas of course in the house this is the hall entrance we've got our kitchen and living area one master bedroom and guest bedroom here and a bath here so you'll probably want to assign different textures to different areas so what you need to do with that plane which basically represents the floor in the house go to top view and uh, see that's what I've done just adding some loop cuts to separate the areas this is for example if you go to face selection mode this is the kitchen area which are, I will be applying some tiles of course uh, this small corner here I don't really care about because there's gonna be a fridge uh, anyways but if I want it to this corner have the same uh, material and texture as this one I just need to add control R add another loop cut here bring it here go to the vertex selection select this vertex and bring it here you know and uh, now I can select this whole kitchen oh, this one was wrong one two three four five six seven okay but this is a not necessary so I did did not do it so I'm using different materials different colors to separate the area so it makes it easy for me to assign the textures later on and uh, yeah uh, maybe <laughs> the last thing I see that I don't have handles here for my sliding doors of course as I explained it to you before the door the glass panel need to have be in a child and parent relationship with a door frame so when you slide the doors the glass panel goes with it so uh, let's add a handle shift a mesh cube scale it down as to scale uh, it's not important to place it properly now you need to go to the top uh, edit mode e extrude along the y axis here select the bottom face E Z like this Control Z E Control Z E Z E Z again select like this one E Y necessary but I like to do it as to scale it seven Z where do we have our sliding doors G to grab here yeah. G to grab and and to scale it down scale Y scale and do not 
that we get by selecting this one and then hold down the shift select the door control P oh, check. And now when you select the door and move it the handle will follow control Z alright guys so this is I think that's it for now and I've decided to carry on in this tutorial so I'll see you soon with the part 6 uh, showing you how to assign different textures to the different materials and then we will start step by step by putting the furniture into our rooms and into our kitchen, bathrooms and everything because yeah, I've decided that we are started already so we need to finish, finish the job and we will trust me together we can <laughs> right so i will see you in part six take care for now and see you soon